Hey everyone, it's Bryant. What's up? So, a few days ago, Devi504 said this. Theremin, it's an instrument you can play it without touching it. So it means you can't even slap, smash. Lo sapevo. I knew it. I bet he would say that. You can touch it, so you can slap it. Yeah. Well, on one point, he's right. Theremin is an instrument that you play without touching it. And you should not do that if you don't want to be electrocuted. Yeah, don't touch the antenna. But like other instruments, you can use it in different ways to make sound or noise. So you can slap it as well. And I'm gonna show you how. With the theremin, you have to think outside the box. So let's start with the box. You can play on it to make percussions, for example. David does the same with his bass in some videos. So on the theremin, it's something like this. Wait, what was that? Yes, it's slap. So, can I touch it? Yes. Can I slap it? Yes. So, Devi, when you say you cannot touch a theremin, you're wrong. Have you ever played a theremin? Have you ever tried it? Do you own one? I think not. But if you're not totally convinced yet, I can do even more. There's a second way to slap a theremin, a scientific way. Theremin emits an electromagnetic field and you interact with it, moving your hands inside. And that's how you choose the notes to play, starting from further low notes to the highest one, very close to the antenna. So really dangerous. Remember, electrical shock. So the electromagnetic field is invisible, but just because you cannot see it, doesn't mean it does not exist, right? It is part of the instrument itself. You cannot play without it. So to play the theremin, you play in this field. And it's like if you're playing the air, which is also invisible, but it's still something, it's not nothingness. It's something you can touch, even if you don't realize it. Air is made of gas, molecules, atoms, and there's no sound without air. Playing theremin means playing the air. It becomes part of the instrument as well. So being part of the instrument and being something you can actually touch, the field and the air are definitely something you can play with. And I will tell you more, you can also slap. How? Okay, I will show you the other way to slap the theremin. Looks familiar, Devi? It's actually something you do at the end of your videos. Yeah, you slap the air. Pretending you're slapping who's watching your video. You're just slapping the air. This means you can slap the theremin. Just slapping the air and adding some distortion, you can get a better sound result. Davide Biale, vai a comprarti un Theremin, subito, e poi magari ne riparliamo. Learn to play perfectly. Touch the magnetic field, touch the air, don't touch or slap the antenna. Remember, electrical shock. So, I think that's all for today. Now you know how to slap a Theremin. Stay tuned for the next video.